Hello, my name is Han So Lee. I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemical Engineering of Postech. The research topic I will present today is Conductive Metal Organic Framework Grow Nanofiber Membranes for Air Filtration and Respiration Monitoring. Recently, air pollution caused by particulate matters is getting worse and becomes one of the biggest threats to public health in the world. And more recently, prevention of airborne infectious disease like COVID-19 is also one of the biggest issues. Face masks help reduce the adverse health effects by blocking inhalation of PMs, bacteria, and viruses. Face masks are currently the most commonly used personal protective equipment in the world. However, a conventional face mask with High filtration performance impedes breathing. In particular, the breathability becomes more serious when using medical face masks designed for blocking viruses that are far smaller than typical PMs. Nanofibers are effective replacement materials for conventional face masks composed of multiple microfibers, as they deliver high filtration performance while maintaining high breathability. As a fiber diameter decreases to a mean prepass of air under ambient conditions, the airflow around the nanofiber lies in the transition flow regime that the gas velocity at the surface of the nanofiber becomes non-zero. The gas relief effect leads to the substantial decrease in the drag force and consequently to the decrease in pressure drop. By taking advantage of the low pressure drop of nanofiber face mask, a numerous studies reported nanofiber filters coated with metal organic frameworks, which possess unique properties, large surface area, tunable functionality, and adjustable pore size. In particular, the high surface energy of MFs induced strong interaction with air pollutants, effectively removing them. Despite the versatility of MF, most MF are not electrically conductive, limiting their applications mainly to catalysts, gas storage, and gas separation. This problem can be overcome by adopting electrically conductive MF. Metacatechorase MF displays the superior electrically conductive characteristics as well as the inherent properties of the MF. Therefore, it has great potentials in electronic materials such as resistive sensors, supercapacitors, and electrocatalysts. In this study, we designed a double face mask composed of conductive MF coated nanofibers. As prepared hybrid membranes, air filtration performance was tested. In addition, we demonstrate that it can be used as a smart device that can monitor respiration in real time owing to the conductive MF properties. Here is the preparation process of hybrid membranes. The nanofiber membrane was prepared by electrospin method by blending organic linker with polyacrylonitrile solution. The MF were fabricated by a two-step hydrothermal reaction. The MF sheet layer was formed during the first hydrothermal reaction, and MF crystals grew during the second hydrothermal reaction. After the two-step hydrothermal reaction, MF crystals were uniformly grown on the nanofibers and were not removed by rinsing, indicating that they were strongly bound to the nanofibers. MF seed layer growth process was important for growing uniform MF crystal. When synthesized on nanofibers without the seed growth process, the MF crystals grew non-uniformly on the nanofibers and were easily removed by rinsing. The two-step hydrothermal reaction on PAN nanofiber without organ linker 
also yielded weakly bound MF crystals with a non-uniform gross distribution. The effect of precursor concentration on the MF morphology was investigated. As the MF crystals grew on the nanofiber surfaces, the average diameter increased. In addition, increasing the precursor concentration increased the average size of the protruded crystals. Also, figure D shows the current voltage characteristics of hybrid membranes. The seed resistances of sample 1 to 3 were about 40 megaohm, 6 megaohm, and 2 megaohm per square respectively. Increasing the precursor concentration decreased the electrical resistance by increasing the thickness of the conductive MF. XRD and FTIR data also confirmed that MF crystals were successfully grown on PAN nanofibers. The optimized sample pressure drop was only slightly higher than pristine PAN membranes, indicating that hybrid membrane still has good flexibility. However, the pressure drop across sample with high concentration precursor was nearly twice that of optimized sample because unwanted MF clusters were cloaked on the pore of the nanofiber membrane. The filtration efficiency of hybrid membrane was compared with pristine membrane which has similar pressure drops. In the case of solid particles such as fine test dust, both membranes showed very good efficiency. But in the case of smoke PM, which is all type liquid drumlets, hybrid membrane showed much better filtration efficiency. SAM images of the smoke captured by pristine PAM membrane exhibited a series of axis symmetry drumlets, which are formed by adhered wetting liquid. But hybrid membrane exhibited no obvious axis symmetric drumlets. Instead, its nanofiber thickness exceeded that of pristine PAM membrane. SCM image after capture the smoke of hybrid membrane shows all type liquid droplets became more wetted on the hybrid membrane. This results probably because the MOF crystals have a much higher surface energy than PAN. To explore the respiration monitoring potential of hybrid membrane, its electrical resistance was measured as a function of relative humidity. As conductive MF exhibited a P-type semiconductor behavior in presence of water, the adsorbed water molecules behaved as electron donors, reducing the concentration of positive charge carriers in the membrane and increasing its electrical resistance. The slow response of the electrical resistance can be explained by the low flow rate of the carrier gas stream and the large volume of the chamber. It responded quickly to the high flow rate moisture as shown in figure B, so we thought that we could use it to sense human breath. We prepared prototype device by attaching hybrid membrane to face mask then the electrical resistance changes were measured during different breathing modes, deep breathing, normal breathing, and fast breathing. As you can see, it successfully monitored various respiratory conditions of wearers. The individual amplitudes of the resistance changes were greater during deep breathing than during normal and fast breathing because the hydration time was lengthened during deep breathing. However, the absolute value of the electrical resistance was highest during fast breathing because the time required for desorption of moisture was longer than the time for absorption of moisture. As a result, the long-term hydration was highest during fast breathing. 
In summary, we fabricated nanofiber membranes by the electrospin method and directly coated them with conductive MF crystals. This hybrid membrane showed good brushability and enhanced air filtration efficiency compared to pristine nanofiber membranes. In addition, we demonstrated the potential as a smart filter that can monitor the human respiration conditions in real time. Although further research on the biotoxicity of conductive MF is required, the developed membrane is a promising material for medical and filtration applications. So thank you for listening to my presentation. If you have any questions, please tell us. Thank you.